now that we have both of the motherboards removed, what we're going to be doing is basically just a simple swap. By doing this swap, we're basically simulating swapping every single component in the phone. Because Apple continues to serialize components, we'll be able to quickly find out what Apple did to make the device unrepairable this time if they did anything at all. And there we go. We have the red motherboard with the blue phone internals, and we have the blue motherboard with the red phone internals. We'll boot both of these phones on. And we have the Apple logo on both. We have both of the phones booted on. As soon as we enter the passwords, we're probably gonna get bombarded by the non-genuine messages. Let's see what shows up. Important camera message, nice. Face, face ID issue detected, that's pretty standard because we swapped face ID parts. We have the important battery message, also pretty standard for Apple, unfortunately. Let's see what else. Important display message, that should be the last one. After extensive testing, I did find some stuff. First off, I'd like to say that these phones are running iOS 17 and all of my findings are based on both phones running iOS 17. There may be some things that I have missed in this test to which I will keep you guys updated. Anyway, now that we got all of that out of the way, here's what I found. So all anti-repair measures Apple has taken prior are still there, including all the non-genuine messages like the face ID, the battery, the display, etc. The True Tone is still disabled. You'd have to reprogram it to get it onto a new display. Auto brightness also doesn't work. The flash issue we recently found with the iPhone 14 doesn't seem to be an issue on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If we take a picture with the flash on, it saves to the camera roll as usual and there are no issues. I can say that I haven't seen any issues in swapping the back glass at all. The flash and wireless charger all seem to function as they should. Face ID only works with the original front camera as usual, but swapping other components doesn't seem to affect it. The five times zoom also still seems to work. We can still set the action button to do whatever we want with no issues, even though it's not the original action button. I also haven't found any issues with portrait mode or any other camera mode. The only issue I found was with the front camera. And well, this is kind of serious. Swapping front cameras seem to glitch out the entire camera app. Just check this out. If I head to camera and now I hit front camera, this will never load. I gave it a lot of time. Now the entire camera app is glitched out. This is nothing new. We saw this with the iPhone 14s and factory resetting the iPhone 14s solved this issue. So naturally that's what I tried with this phone. We'll hit camera and now we'll go to the front camera. So it appears to be working, right? But I can't take any pictures. This is a phone I factory reset and that worked with the 14, but it doesn't seem to be working with the 15 Pro Max. So what does this mean? Well, I'm not entirely sure yet. I have to share my findings with other repair shops before I come to a solid conclusion. What I can say though, is that if this is done purposefully on Apple's part, then it's bad, like very bad. Hopefully this is a glitch that Apple fixes in an upcoming update, but with Apple's track record, I have a hard time believing any bad thing that happens as a result of swapping parts is a glitch. Anyway guys, those are my findings. If I find anything else, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Hit that bell button so you don't miss the next video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.